So the next step after you've secured your side rails down to your table, or in my case, the um, sawhorses, you need to locate 12 of the 5 16th coarse thread button head bolts and 12 of the T-nuts. Um, three bolts and three T-nuts go in each corner and they are inserted kind of like so in the side rail. And then make sure the T-nut goes on the bolt like that, not like that. If you can see the, the raised portion. The raised portion needs to go like so. Once you thread those in loosely, you take your side rail cross member and it will actually slide into the T-nut like that and you repeat that on all four of the corners and leave everything loose. Now we've gone ahead and picked up the gantry and set the gantry on top of the rails. Torchmate suggests that you first, before you put the gantry on the rails, to bolt the tool mounting bracket on. Um, we decided that it'd be kind of a little bit easier for us to work on it with it up here um, and give a little better video. One thing that we did notice is that the mounting hardware for the L bracket to the tool mounting plate is really not very long. Torchmate includes these regular zinc plated grade 5 um, nuts that go on this bolt. And as you can see, it just barely sticks through. Um, in my personal opinion, I would like to see some kind of a thread locker to prevent this from backing out or loosening up. So I would like to see a nylock and the supplied hardware wouldn't actually accommodate for a nylock. Um, so your options are either swap this bolt out, we're going to swap it out with a slightly longer bolt and a nylock, or use a little bit of blue thread locking compound. Um, in addition to that, I'm also going to use some blue medium strength thread locker uh, for the socket head cap screws that actually hold the tool mounting bracket to the gantry, like so. So I'm going to go ahead and get that stuff bolted on there and then um, we'll show you the next step. The next step is to install the lower guide rail bearings. And in order to do that, you're going to need the one bolt, four washers, one nut, and one bearing per assembly. And they kind of go together like this. You put the washer on there, start, start the bolt through, then put two washers to be used as spacers, then the bearing, then another washer. You're going to have to do this kind of by braille because it's fairly difficult to, you can't really get in there that easily. And then you put the nut on and this is probably the hardest part of it. So what I do is I kind of feed it in there with my finger and then turn the bolt from the outside. Now, once you get all of that assembled together, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take up 100% of the slack out of the rail so that this bearing is riding directly on the bottom rail. So you want to push it up as much as you can and then tighten it down. Now it's time to square the gantry with the side rails. And the way that I found um, that I believe is the easiest way to do that is to bring the gantry all the way down until it hits the stops on both of the side rails. Once you've done that, take this bearing and put it and lock it in position in the center of its travel. Do that on both sides. Then, when the gantry is still against its stops and these bearings are locked in, take both rails and slide them together as much as you can until there is zero clearance between the rail and that bearing. Once there's zero clearance between the rail and the inside bearing, go ahead and lock down all of your T-bolts that you installed, T-nuts and bolts that you installed in step one. Once you've done that, slide the gantry all the way to the other end, put it up against both of its stops, and repeat the process. Once you've done that, make sure that the gantry then 
moves e smoothly and evenly across its full range of travel. Once it does that, go ahead, take all the slop out of the outside bearing, tighten it down, and you're good to move on. So now that the table and the gantry have all been squared, it's time to mount the uh, torch height adjuster. It just bolts to the mounting bracket like that, and then your torch holder fastens to the height adjuster like that. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to leave all these nuts and bolts loose so that we can then level the torch. So the next step is to secure the gantry to the side rails. Um, and as you can see, this is not lined up at all. So what you want to do is make sure that the bracket doesn't spin and then just turn the lead screw to get the threads and the holes to line up and then thread the, the bolts in and uh, repeat it on the other side. And this kind of, they self-center um, on each other. Tighten them up.